Hey guys, so I got a, I went out to a thrift store today out in Kennewick and stuff and uh, just wanted to show you guys I guess our haul and everything, the different stuff that we're doing. Got behind me like a bunch of books and stuff, oh, that's a big deal. Bunch of books that we're selling and all that stuff and we're selling a bunch more and everything books still. So if you have textbooks or something like that, check them and there's like a website you can go to and they'll uh, buy them from you. For X amount of dollars they pay shipping and all that and they'll buy even small books for 50 cents or something like that and uh, so if you have a crap load of books you get offload you know your two three hundred books for a couple hundred bucks or whatever and there you go so I got this one though John Denver's greatest hits right it's pretty cool and uh, it's like brand new get condition the I'm playing it right now get close like close to that, so they can hear it. Yeah, I don't know the. Pretty much, just got a really, uh, really light speaker. I only have the one, so I gotta piece it all together. But uh, yeah, I'm really proud of that one because it's a really, really good score, and I got the album player. I also got the Carpenters. Uh, this one's not in such good condition, but I'm telling you, this John Denver one's perfect. And then, like, just look at the slip. The slip is cool. It's got, like, a little thing, you know. Pretty much RCA first approached me with this idea. Body blah, blah. He, like, wanted... They wanted him to just slap on some songs. And he thought that his songs... He'd actually become better, you know. He's like, I was four or five... That was, like, four or five years ago. And, uh... Treat you to some songs with a little differently. Or... Yeah, his song is a little differently than I had in the original recording. So he went and re-recorded these for this one. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm not sure how much it'll go for, but it's really cool. I like the, I like vinyl. It's awesome. And uh, I only spent a dollar on each of them, which was insane. Honestly, like a dollar for that John Denver one and the condition it's in. Like, I should be able to get 20 bucks, I think, for that one. The other one, not so much just because of the condition it's in. I don't know if it plays all the way through either. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Like, there's some hiccups, but it's mainly my needle. I need to get a new needle. So, uh, also, we would slip it over here. We got some baby stuff that I got, like some clothes and baby bottles, different stuff like that. Sterilize them, sell them. Got a biggie shirt. This was all the dollar. Everything that we bought, the, the shirts and everything, they're a dollar. So this Biggie shirt, it's uh, pretty cool. It's Brooklyn. You know, Brooklyn uh, Mint is what it says. So there's Brooklyn jeans, there's Brooklyn Mint, I guess. There's Brooklyn everything. So this Adidas, nice. It's got one little little divot right there, a little, little mess up. But, I mean, you know, it's not bad. It's, it's reflective. Wet. Yeah, it's reflective. Oh, nice. So it's a running shirt for sure. It's new for sure, like new ish. And uh, so, so, I mean, it'll sell for sure. We just sold a little red one that was just short sleeve and it wasn't fancy or nothing. It was just the climate and stuff, and it actually sold. Um, got this. Shelly thinks it's not going to amount to nothing, but this is uh, a Jensen apparel, apparel shirt, all American. Extra large, made in the USA. Like that's some vintage stuff right there, and it's on a and it's uh the Toys for Tots. It says WTP on the front. I I'm not sure what WTP means, but I'll have to figure it out. But it is Toys Toys for Tots, and uh, there's a lot of Toys for Tots uh, collectors out there. A lot of bikers ride with them and stuff like that, and everybody else. Also got this little Wayne shirt here. Um, I figured that my wife could wear it. If not, just saying it. Lil Wayne, you know, sitting there with a the crown and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm not a huge like I don't know, rap head or whatever, <laughs> but I'm uh, I don't know. Like Lil Wayne's awesome. My wife loved him, I guess, back in the day, and then she slid off that real quick onto the white boys. No, so, and then we got this uh, Jameson t-shirt, which is pretty cool. It's an extra large. I would totally give it to my dad, but, you know, 
He's a little too skinny now. He used to fit into that. But uh, that'll probably sell, you know, good twenty dollars I'm guessing each shirt. Um I'm guessing twenty ten ten to twenty dollars. But we bought them for a dollar, so right there. Boom. And this one right here, Majestic, Red Sox. It's pretty nice. That X was looking more like a K there, so I wasn't sure, but it's real. It's an X. It's pretty cool. And it's got this raised material in it, so it's like they heat it on, it's raised, it's I don't know. It's a nice one. That's probably another twenty dollar bill. So I mean all together there, just with shirts, you probably got a hundred bucks. And then with the vinyl, I'll probably keep it honestly, like a dollar for that. But I'll look it up. And then also, so with these books and everything, I'm making my way over this way. With these books and everything, I was uh doing my comic books and I was learning that I don't know, like what my comic books are worth and everything else going through eBay looking on the sold listing and stuff <coughs> trying to figure out what they sold for on eBay which is kind of like eh because some comic books sell for good money on eBay some don't and all that stuff and uh, there's got to be a better way I don't know if there is but one that I found I got this I got like all my stuff in here and stuff and I know it's a little pain to take down. <laughs> I'll probably end up selling this guy right here, if you can see. Uh, Chief Miles O'Brien is, uh, oh, what's his name? It's uh, Meanie, or, yeah, Meanie is his last name, or Mane, or something like that. But uh, he's actually a pretty good actor. I got this puppy for four ninety nine at the local uh, place. They actually had left the gat, or the yard sale tag on there for four ninety nine put their own tag on the back and I didn't see it and they let me go with it. So for four ninety nine, and it was priced at 12 bucks. So pretty, pretty good little scoop on that puppy. And then, uh, I got all these power rangers here for free. Like I just found them in a donation and stuff, which is crazy because the don't each of them goes for about three bucks a piece. And I could sell all of them together for probably about 30 bucks because it's the whole group and stuff. And then, uh, I found uh, that my ultimate Spider-Man number one, if I get it graded and everything, it's about an eight-ish. So if I get it graded, it's actually worth around 150 bucks. It only costs $20 to grade the comic book. To get it, to buy the case, it's five bucks and it costs, actually it'd be about 25 bucks. It's about 20 bucks to send it and about five bucks for the case that you need to get to put it into. To send it to them like it has to be a special case it can't just be a, a slip and stuff so uh, that's pretty cool like come up I guess in a way because I haven't done it yet and I need to like you know I need to buy the case and send it out and do all that stuff but just the fact that I have a $150 comic book sitting right there is pretty cool like I can't sell it for anything until I grade it though that's a uh, the weird part about comic books, you can't sell a comic book to someone just like that for a hundred bucks all in a slip and stuff. It, I don't know, because it's not been graded, it's not nothing, there's no verification that it is the one that they want and all that stuff. So no one will buy it for them. They might buy it for ten bucks, but ten dollars is nothing compared to what I could get. So And plus it's way better just looking at it on my uh, on my deal. Oh, I also found this cool little guy, this little Uzi, and I just thought that was cool. They call me Big Uzi Hurt. What's up? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we're going. We're uh, doing a lot of stuff. We actually had a lot of sales uh, just in the past day. Uh, yesterday, I sent out five packages. Um, today, uh, well, we got to send out two, and then uh, the other day, we sent out two. All these books have to be sent out so that we can, you know, get them sent and stuff. And that's a hundred bucks right there, like just for books, like random books that people were tossing out and I grabbed because I'm like, I'm not about to let them go to waste and like I'll just store them up. I've got books on books. Like that's not all my books. So I'll show you my books. That way you can see the books. Like this whole box. It's, sorry, it's a mess. We also make tamales. So if anybody's interested in tamales and you're in the Tri-City area, we'll deliver to you. We won't go as far as Prosser, but we'll go as far as Bent City. But uh, yeah, so this is like a box of books right here that we've weeded out all the bad ones and stuff like sources and stuff. 
is bad. But this book box right here is, I mean, all these books, that's probably $100 in books. Easy, $200 in books. But it's, you have to sell each of them for like 50 cents to a dollar. Because, or maybe five bucks, you know I mean? There's some of them that are pretty good. The Hunger Games, it's old school though because it's over with. They've already made movies about it. So no one wants the thing, wants to see it. And for some reason, us millennials don't believe in doing outside and stuff with our kids anymore. So no one will buy that one. But it's what it is. That place, though, they'll buy them for 50 cents. Freaking, that's a lot of books. Sell them for 50 cents. There you go. You get your money for free. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's constantly moving, constantly doing it. I've got an Uber video that I'm wanting to put together. But I actually want to edit it together because Uber is crazy and you can't just, like, you can't record when you're on the Uber app and stuff. So I'm constantly having to stop. I'll back in. Hey, guys, how you doing? So, uh, yeah, I couldn't do that in, like, 10 segments. <laughs> that would be crazy. But uh, I, I guess I could have. There have been, like, two minutes apiece or something. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, uh, I don't know. Other than that. Everything's going good. We got a lot of stuff sold and uh, got a lot of organizing to do. Taxes are coming up, so people are going to be buying. And honestly, I don't know. I'm wanting to start up that, start up the business, get a brick and mortar and stuff. But uh, it's just, you know, taxes might be the the way to do it and everything. So maybe you guys will be seeing a store opening someday in the future. Maybe not near, but, you know, in the next six months, maybe. That'd be awesome. No? Uh, <laughs> maybe. You never know. But, uh, so, um, yeah, so uh, definitely trying uh, everything we can to hustle and stuff, doing Uber. Uh, just started doing this thing called, um, well, was, I'm starting on, uh, well, what's it called, Door or something? What? Instacart. <laughs> well, there's Instacart, which is a cool thing, and DoorDash which is uh, another Uber Eats and stuff. And uh, Uber Eats, honestly, is the one that pays me the most. Other places, it's Uber. But with Uber Eats, I live right next to the most popular places in West Richland, Richland. So, like, pretty much I'm always getting Ubers. And so it's awesome. But um, Uber, the DoorDash is just like that. It just goes to McDonald's and Dairy Queen and every other place that... You know, Uber Eats doesn't. And then uh, Instacart, if you go on Instacart, you can actually have somebody go and buy your groceries for you. So you don't have to move from your couch or nothing. You can sit there and game out. Someone will bring the groceries to your door. You open the door or whatever. They'll bring them in, set them down for you in your kitchen, and then you're off. If you want alcohol, they'll get you alcohol too. It's pretty crazy. So, uh yeah, I'm going to be doing that, which is pretty fun and uh, and everything. And it'll help me to hustle, get that grind on, make as much money as possible and everything else, you know. And then that'll go into the business or back into the bills. And, you know, it's all about, I don't know, keeping afloat and trying to make tomorrow better than today. So, um, but, you know, like, share, subscribe. There will be more. I swear to gosh, I swear I will be doing it. I swear. I will be editing a video is just, uh, I don't know. I'm on, I'm up on low key. I'm a little dumb when it comes to that stuff, but I don't like to admit that I'm dumb. So, shh. no, so I'll, uh, damn, that's recorded, huh? No, but, uh, yeah. So we'll talk to you later. She's about to smush me with a friggin' camera. Uh, <laughs> talk to you later, guys. Later.